Hello, welcome to this very passionate edition of Crucial Christo because basically I made a video yesterday and shortly after I did my video saying that no way we would talk to McLeish it was on the official site that we were talking to him and that I'm afraid it, it's not acceptable because and it's not acceptable what's going on in the news because if you watch Sky Sports News it will have you believe that we all don't want him as manager because he's a Birmingham fan, but for me, it's because of his record in the Premier League. Uh, you know, and I hope I proved wrong. If he is a made ma appointed manager, you know, I hope he does do well, and you know, I, I hope he proves everyone wrong and becomes maybe the greatest manager in Villa history. But the thing is, at the moment, it's just not looking too good. You know, fans are arguing with each other. People have gone and spray painted way more heat, which me and a lot of other fans do not agree with. And you know, it's just like all chaos is breaking out, and you know, there's going to be protests today at the hotel. And I was asked to go and film, but in the whole end, I mean, but um, not the whole end, I mean, no stand. But I was asked to go and film, but I'm not going because I'm not sure if I'd get home in time. But the thing is, you know, it's just upsetting to see, it's heartbreaking to see what's going on at the moment because of what I mostly I said yesterday about the type of manager we should be going for. And apparently, some people have been putting out some good uh, things, like the five million we're going to pay in compensation. We could have gone and got someone like Rancard or someone of his standards who've been in Europe and stuff, and someone who can keep us on the table. And a lot of us just do not believe Alex McLeish can do that. And now I just heard on Sky Sports News that a Villa player has said that it's, um, everyone's feeling down about it and now they don't want McLeish to come either so I do not know why the board's doing this because like I say I've had Randy's back from day one I've been a big fan but this is just upsetting I just do not know why this and I, I, I don't think I will go to Villa Park if he's there plus if it's going to be riots and stuff and fights every time Villa Park and the attempts are going to be down I just do not know why they're doing this I mean basically We've all fantasised as fans about being chairman. I mean, we've all known what we've done, and you know, seen general one of the generals. Was it? I don't think it was an official site. Which I'm not sure if it was official site or what the general said, but something about how it's not the fans to decide. But I'm sorry, but I think it is the fans to decide. It's the fans' club. Randy is just a man with the money, and I've said it. Right, and I thought because we've all fantasised, and if I was the owner of Villa, basically. It'd be the fans' decision. What I do, it'd be the fans' decision. If I was to bring a manager in, it'd be who the fans want. I mean, I've already thought about stuff if I was the owner of Villa, the chairman, about renaming the North Stand, but I wouldn't rename the North Stand just like that. I'd ask the Villa fans if they want the North Stand to be renamed, and if they do, what they want it to be renamed to, like maybe the Stand of 82 or something like that, or the Crucial Stand. And if I was the owner again, I'd go after all the managers the fans want who I've seen manager like Ancelotti, Rijkaard and Moyes and if I can't get any of them then I'd do the right thing and tell you the fans that I'm sorry I've done my best to get these managers but none of them would come and see what other names the fans just, the fans would give me because that's how the club should be won it's about what the fans want and I'd, if I was winning it I'd just be the guy with the money and I'd do what the fans want because that is what you're supposed to do and I will believe that the fans will make some good decisions but for the sport I need the fans and say that the fans don't know what to do and stuff, I think it's wrong because, you know, like I say, we all know what to do. We've all made a list of good managers who are realistic, in my opinion. They should be going after and, you know, getting someone like McLeese might drive some players out. I mean, we might have we even been talking to Avram Grant? And, and, you know, and I believe the fans do speak responsibly and about, moan about McLaren. And it is a good point why they moaned about McLaren because... Uh, everywhere you see on TV when they mention McLaren, they show a picture of him with the hot chocolate horn umbrella, and we don't want that uh, t uh, a club to, uh, to represent our manager. And you know, and uh, every time you look at the papers, they all call him a Wally, and we do not want our manager be, to be called a Wally unless Wally was his real name. I mean, who's to say if McLaren got the job? I mean, who's to say he wasn't in his first interview start speaking in a bummy accent, doing something embarrassing? And they can understand the fans. We want. And the fans do know what they want, and it should be the fans' decision, in my point of view. I mean, like I've just said, we're all fantasised, we all know what we do, and but sadly, I will never be a billionaire, and I will never own Aston Villa, so, and I will can never listen to the fans and do what the fans want to do. But if Lerner wants to make things right, 
and he should listen to the fans and go after the people the fans want. In fact, he probably already has done that, but it just came quiet. But going after McLeish is the wrong move for Villa. And yeah, we have disgusting fans, but every club does. We probably mean I won't do it because I'm a respectful human being. A lot of my Villa fans who I'm friends with are respectful human beings, but our club does have disgusting fans who will probably send in death threats, and all clubs have that. All clubs have fans that will do something stupid like send death threats for some for something. Well, you know, it's just, it's just my opinion, opinion. And to be honest, Randy Lerner could have done a lot better with McLeish. And like I say, I hope I'm proved wrong. I hope McLeish goes down as being one of the best managers in Villa history if he is appointed. But, like, but as a club, we should have been re- aiming way higher. It's what all upsets no one, or everyone's upset. I mean, look at Birmingham City, the list of managers they've actually drew. Well, there's actually some good choices in there, apart from Cotterill. But like I say... I can understand if one's upset, and it's not what should be done here. I mean, uh, some people are saying that manager doesn't know. Someone's saying four shows sure, stick together, and even Mourinho people wouldn't be happy with Mourinho. But well, not everyone will. It's impossible to have 100% of people behind one person. But I believe if we did get Mourinho or something like that, everyone would be very happy and getting excited. But right now, no one is excited. It seems the players are feeling down as well. After what her on Sky Sports News have to speak to one player. And everything just seems a mess. So, basically, it's another video on the matter. McLeish is in talks, so what I didn't expect, but I don't know what's going on. It seems that they're not. Board is saying the best. And says, I saw this it's just on the official site saying he's the best candidate. It could be the best candidate for the job. I'm sorry, but that's wrong. How, I, out of all the three managers out there at the moment, how the hell can McLeish be the best man for the job? Anyway, I'm probably uh, on the verge of boring people right now, so I'm going to go and I'll probably update another video if I can, if I have another situation. But right now, that's it. Uh, I'm done.